Today I'm going to have microneedling with PRP, plasma rich platelets. Here I am before I'm going to apply my numbing cream right now and then in 45 minutes I will apply it again and then I'll head over to Dr. Barbara Person's office in Lafayette, California. I hope you can join me for my skincare improvement adventure. This is the numbing cream. The office gave it to me to take home so I could apply this at home and I wouldn't have to just sit around in the office waiting for it to kick in. So uh, here we go. It just looks like a regular little cream like this. So thoughtful that they let you do this at home because I've got a lot of laundry to fold. So a little bit seems to go quite a long way. I'm gonna keep it away from my eye area. I'll end up bringing it down here to my bra line. They'll also be microneedling this area here, which I really need because even though I was so diligent about sunscreen on my face, I just did not do a good job of bringing it down very far below my neck. So if you're young out there, bring your sunscreen all the way down when you do it because all that getting in and out of the car, driving, that all adds up. It's not just from when you're laying out at the swimming pool <laughs> because if you add it up, there's probably a lot less of that that you're doing than normal everyday sun exposure. And I'll finish the rest of this in private. First round of numbing cream is on. I'll be back to do the second round in 45 minutes. Now I'm ready to apply coat two of my numbing cream. So far my face feels pretty numb. Uh, do more of a perimeter around the outer edge of your lips because a little bit kind of seeped on. So my lips are feeling a little numb, but I right away went and I kind of wiped off the bit I started feeling that. Uh, so here we go for round two. Second coat is on and we'll be heading to the office in just a minute. Walking up to the office now. This is the room where it's going to happen. And this is the lovely Emily. Here's the blood drawing stuff. All right, I am gowned up and just about ready to go. So we're going to start out by drawing my blood and then they'll spin it and then microneedle. All right, so Emily's gonna tell me about what's going to happen. So today we are doing platelet-rich plasma microneedling. We'll start by drawing her blood and centrifuging it down, forcing the red blood cells to the base of the tube. Um, the top layers will be a paler, um, light yellow color. They are platelet-rich plasma and fibrin. They'll separate. We will draw off the topmost layer, which is the platelet-rich plasma, which has growth factors in it that stimulate collagen production within the skin. We microneedle the uh, plasma back into the skin um, which rejuvenates it and can help um, smooth over some acne scarring, um, larger pores, and um, generally rejuvenate the skin's appearance and kind of mitigate some sun damage. Um, it's a really incredible procedure. Um, usually we do between one and four treatments, um, and it produces some really excellent results. Oh, I'm excited. Woohoo! Okay, this is the Cosmo microneedling pen, as you can see. We have those little hypodermic needles um, there. The current setting, so you can see it is at uh, 2.5 millimeters, which is um, a pretty intense treatment. Um, we, that just spins, basically? Or I'll, I'll show or you, I'll turn it on. So it basically, um, it goes out and comes back oh, okay. in. So down down. It's, it's too fast to see, essentially, yeah. but yeah. Um, much like a tattoo needle, mm -hmm. it perforates the skin, and instead of ink, we are laying down your growth factors. Oh, cool. All right, so I have Dr. Barbara Persons here. Hello. She is the magic maker, and Hello. today we are going to go ahead and do my microneedling with PRP, and uh, she's going to start by drawing my blood. And then I don't know if there's anything you want to tell everyone about the procedure. Uh, yes, PRP is a wonderful product that is that comes from your own body. So I draw your blood, spin your blood down for a fraction of growth factors called platelet-rich plasma, and then we use that for microneedling of the face. It can really help with pores, pigment, overall skin health, and brings in your own natural growth factors. 
does it help with the really little fine lines that you know, kind of it start does. to appear around it your mouth? It does. Oh, okay. <laughs> it does. I have, I have patients who come in and say, you know, well, Jenny, Jenny does microneedling as well, and they say she's a magician. You, you too will find it's it's really a great treatment. I'm excited about what it is here because I'm getting that total yes. aging thing happening here. So. And then people <laughs> will usually do uh, a series of treatments. So with PRP, I recommend that people do four treatments of microneedling and PRP uh, spaced about four weeks apart. So that can give you an overall glow that can last. Oh, so then you get kind of a, like how long does it last usually and then if you do the series it lasts longer? Is it? Yeah, if you do the series to really tone and condition their skin and then doing a, a treatment mm -hmm. about every six months as upkeep is okay. what I recommend. And then how is that different than doing a laser type of a treatment? It's different because both laser and microneedling cause a injury, if you will, to the skin that causes your own collagen stimulation. But a, a laser is a controlled thermal injury where microneedling is a physical treatment that, that uh, injects basically the PRP under the skin. That's how they are different. Both, oh, both are very two, two things with the PRP, right? You're yes, you are. And I'm just there. Yeah, I think they're both use, very useful modalities. People who have a lot of sun damage and need to clean up their sun damage, then, then I think they do really well with, with, la with laser. Mm -hmm. That can treat precancers. This mm -hmm. is a skin treatment that does really well with large pores and some, some pigments and just gives your skin an overall glow. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Let's go. All right. So I'll be drawing several tubes of your own blood and spinning it down. Well, I had to have a big glass of water before we started. <laughs> and have a little teeny pinch with a little tiny butterfly needle. One, two, three, pinch. Wow, oh, you're so good. Looks like I've done this before. And then just to talk a little bit about PRP versus PRF is another modality that I often do is I will do PRP and microneedling mm -hmm. and then also spin a fraction for four foot of rich fibrin. Today I I would suggest that we do a little platelet rich fibrin spin okay. and I inject a platelet rich fibrin in an area for you and oh, you can try I've the never natural had or of any sort. So that would be and interesting. And it, it's not it's not a filler per se and then it won't make you over volumized or anything, but it does help with the problem areas, you know, if it's the marionette lines or nasal labial folds mm -hmm. or any of those things that can really help. Now the uh, microneedling and the PRP's been around for a while, hasn't it? Uh, it has. Actually, that's, I'm so glad you asked that because um, I wrote a paper for PRP and hair growth. It, this was like 20 years ago in my really? training. And people will say, oh, there's this new thing. It's like PRP injection. Uh -huh. And I say, it, it is tried and true. It's been around for a long time. This is the centrifuge for, yeah. that will spin out the plasma and fibrin. Uh, for five minutes at 900 RPM for platelet-rich fibrin. And there she goes. Once you get the platelet-rich fibrin, you have two or three minutes to draw it up before it turns into jello. See, it's already jelly. That's so cool. This doesn't usually cause any bruising. I'll take this, my assistant, I'll put my little needle right here. Wait a second. And I'm just gonna come out. And then put in your, your natural growth factors. And are you okay? Mm -hmm. That's a good pinch. Sorry. I'm gonna put this in. There we go, right in there. There's some natural filler. Okay. And then the other side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then right here, here the rest of your own natural growth factor. It turns into jello. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. You're 
all done. You see no bleeding, no bruising. Wow, yeah, that didn't really, I mean, it felt like a little tiny pinch on each side, that's about it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. There it is. Oh, oh, if we held up the light, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. oh. It's look glowing. at that. Now, is the clear on top again the fibrin or? That's plasma. Fibrin is just below that, that more like murky, kind of slightly oh, butterscotch color. Interesting. That's your fibrin. So then, what they're going to put onto my face then is the top part, the clear. Right, part. the plasma is very, very thin oh, serum. So neat. Very cool. On your chest, which is what I'm going to do first, and I'll just put a light coating of PRP everywhere on your face. After, on a clean face, no makeup, and it just glides on. And then I, I'll place some PRP right here and right here on your, between your clavicles. And now I'm going to start your micro needling. It sort of has a tickly feeling. Oh uh, yeah. And it doesn't hurt at all. Doesn't hurt at all. Mm -hmm. Numbing, it's key to numb for two hours. Mm -hmm. You should pick up, you know, as you did, pick up the numbing beforehand. And then just go in this nice circular motion. I'm not applying any pressure. And then this is different than microneedling that you do at home. I am, I am injecting this two millimeters beneath the skin. Well, those don't and go very far at all compared to that. Aren't they like a half and a quarter? Yes. So this this is this is a a deeper micro needling, and you'll see you'll see as I get honored with this that that you'll have a nice patina all over your skin. So what do you think of the home micro needling? Is that actually worthwhile? I I don't I actually don't. I can't really speak to it as a as a treatment. I know that I don't think it can hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's I think it's fine for people to do. I, I don't think it um, has results like this though. Has <laughs> results like this. Yeah. Sounds like a little dremel. How are you feeling? Kind of just feels like kind of getting lightly sanded, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> you can feel the vibration more than anything. Yeah. A little teeny bit of roughness, but it doesn't hurt. The areas that I'm gonna hit feel like a little bit like a sunburn. Yeah, that's the way it looks as well. It's just your skin is flushing, mm -hmm. so it's flooding um, circulation to those areas, which is is really great um, to help mobilize the platelet-rich plasma that we're injecting below your surface, your skin. So my face just feels just like kind of a very light sunburn. It just feels kind of tight, although now that you're rubbing this on, it feels less tight. As, as your plasma dries, it tightens up and it causes your skin to feel a little bit tight. You kind of have a little patina all over your skin and um, we'll want to leave this on for at least four hours so you get the maximum benefit from your own growth factors. Awesome. just got back home and wanted to show you what my face looks like on my regular camera. So here I am. As you can see, I'm 
fairly red and uh, rather puffy right now. That is all normal. And it takes one to three days for this to go down. They say the worst of it's over after the first day. I'm not supposed to wash my face tonight. I can wash it tomorrow morning. And tonight I can put a gentle moisturizer or an oil or something on. So I'll probably put my Coke and Doe oil on uh, just for tonight. And of course my silk pillowcase will feel very good. I feel like I kind of have a moderate sunburn on my face. You know, it mainly feels tight more than anything. So here I am and I'll be checking in again tomorrow. It's 11.30 a.m. the day after and you can see I just look pretty darn sunburnt. There are a few little spots that, you know, are a little rougher than others, but so far it just feels kind of tight uh, and like I have a sunburn. And then my chest area ended up turning very, very red. Um, and it's funny because this didn't bug me at all yesterday, but when I was sleeping, I sleep on my side and you know that kind of ended up making it kind of feel sore in the morning a little bit, but it's much better now that I'm up and about. So, so far so good. And I'll be checking in again probably tonight and then again tomorrow. It's only been about 22 hours since I had the procedure and I want to jump on real quick. I wasn't planning on showing my face again today. I didn't think I needed to, but look at this. My cheekbones are back. The swelling has gone down a lot. I mean, I still have some, and of course there's redness and some stuff going on, but overall, what an improvement. I didn't even realize that my face had gone down this much. What happened was I was talking to my husband and daughter and I said something about not leaving the house again for a while. And they're like, why? And I was like, well, cause I'm all red and puffy and they're like, your face looks pretty much normal other than you look kind of red and you've got some little things going on. So it was like, wow. And so I looked and I was like, oh my gosh. So not bad. It hasn't even been 24 hours. It has been about 41 hours since I had my microneedling with PRP, maybe even only about 40 hours. But anyhow, I just wanted to pop on and show you what it looks like two days after. And I really think that's looking good. Uh, I'd say that probably about 80% or maybe 85% of my swelling is gone. And uh, as you can see, the redness is going down a lot. I just have some moisturizer on my skin. I did go ahead and wear my eye makeup today and did my eyebrows. A little bit of uh, lipstick on too. Uh, I feel like I could wear makeup on my skin today if I wanted to, but I'm not going anywhere. So I figured I might as well just let it breathe, right? So I just wanted to show you what it's looking like now. I feel like I could totally go out in public and feel okay about it and uh, not feel like people are looking going like, oh, look at the sunburn victim. So I'll just turn so you can take a better look. Looking at my chest area, that is still a bit red. Uh, what I'm finding is when I sleep, I'm a side sleeper. So being curled up like that, that makes it just a little bit sore in the morning. Just like if you have a sunburn and you, you know, kind of sleep in a balled up position. Nothing painful, nothing that's waking me up or anything, but that I do feel uh, in the morning. I wish I could sleep on my back, but this is kind of hard for me. So what I was trying to do is sleep on my side, but kind of put my shoulder back instead of having my hands like this, kind of putting that arm out like that to kind of keep it a little flatter while I'm on my side. And that seemed to help. Um, but again, it's not waking me. I'm just trying not to be as curled up. Uh, so anyway, uh, again, here it is. I'll check in again tonight or tomorrow. Here I am on day three in about four more hours. It will have been 72 hours. So I guess about 68 hours. You can see that my face has gotten a lot better. The overall redness is pretty much gone. There's just little areas that got hit a little bit harder uh, that still have, you know, little kind of dots. And overall, I think it looks really good. Uh, most of the swelling is down. I think there's just very, very little bit of that left. And then the only thing that I would say that I noticed yesterday, just for fun, I tried to put on a very light foundation and I had some dry patches. Uh, and I guess dryness is probably not the right thing to say, but almost like it had peeled a little bit, like very, very fine peeling, like not like a sunburn where pieces are peeling off, not like that, but almost like if you use something that gets too dry on your skin. Uh, so there's a bit of that happening. So I'm going to go try to put some foundation on and let you know uh, how that goes today uh, in my next check-in. Uh, my chest is still pretty red though. My face isn't, but my chest still is. Um, and I still you know, can feel that kind of in the morning when I wake up kind of that feeling like if you have a sunburn, so, um, you know, that's really, but just normal walking around, it's totally fine. It's only if I'm balled up for hours like this on my side. So, so let me just show you. Check in tomorrow. It's day four. And as you can see, most of my overall redness is gone. I still have some little spots. Uh, the chest is still maybe just a touch pink, but 
The one thing I've noticed is that I've got some, uh, I'm calling it micro peeling because it's really tiny, tiny flakes of skin happening here. I put on a good moisturizer and my Clarins Double Serum that has oils in it, uh, so you really can't tell right now, but I was playing with some foundations yesterday and if I used my Kogan Doe Moisture Foundation or even their Aqua or the La Mer foundations, I was able to get a smooth look, but if I used just kind of more of a random foundation that wasn't super hydrating, I could see kind of the splotchiness and I applied very carefully with a sponge and that made a difference. So uh, day four, I think you could totally wear makeup, uh, but just know that you might be having just a little bit of peeling going on. Uh, for me, it's just kind of in this area here. Uh, I don't know if later it'll start happening somewhere else. I'm not sure, but uh, that's me on day four. I'm doing my one week check-in. So here we are. I feel like my skin tone looks far smoother plumper, uh, just overall, I was like, wow, I almost don't even need to put foundation on. Um, I just have sunscreen moisturizer on right now, uh, but super happy <laughs> with the results so far. And I understand they'll just get better over time. I do have some peeling going on here. I had a little bit of peeling going on kind of in these areas yesterday. I didn't check in yesterday because I was kind of doing every single day and I figured I'd take a day off of it. Um, and then there's a little bit of peeling on my chest. Uh, not that you can really see as much as when I put moisturizer on, I could kind of feel some coming off. It's, it's very, very fine peeling on the face and the chest. No peeling or anything on my neck. I haven't really noticed anything. That kind of just healed up super <laughs> easily. And all my swelling is completely gone. I feel like my cheekbones and everything are back. So very happy with the results so far. This is my skin exactly one month after the microneedling with PRP. Looking at the before and after pictures, you'll see that I have a lot less redness on my skin and my overall skin tone seems smoother. This is the exact same lighting I always use. Uh, also in the after picture, I don't have any eye makeup on at all, so I might look a little different because of that, but just focus in on the skin. Look at this close up here. You can really see how much smoother my skin tone is and look at my chin compared to my chin on the before side huge difference. And then even there's like a little bit of scarring that I have from chicken pox on my forehead. You see it a lot less now. So you can really see it made a difference. So overall, I was absolutely thrilled with the results of microneedling with PRP. Absolutely love Dr. Persons and her whole staff. And I mean, we've been going there uh, for other things like, you know, mole removal, um, you know, other stuff um, that probably another family member doesn't want me to get into, <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it had to do with, it wasn't like something for, um, let's just say it wasn't just like cosmetic type of thing. It was to fix something that had been messed up during another surgery that was not a cosmetic surgery. Um, so, and she was absolutely wonderful, such a caring, kind person. In fact, she has quite a history. Um, she was in a really, really terrible car accident. I think she was in her early twenties and had to have like 27 surgeries and I mean, just all kinds of stuff. And that inspired her to become a plastic surgeon. So she really comes from a place of caring and you can tell when you meet with her and when you, you know, her staff, everyone is just so, so great. So highly, highly recommend going there. If you have any sort of need, you happen to be in the Bay area or can get to the Bay area, she's absolutely fabulous. And I would, I would trust her with anything I have done down the line. I mean, I haven't, you know, had anything done, but I mean, I know in my family, you know, as you get older, I'm 54 right now, but you know, I know that later the eyelids will, you know, come hanging over and I'll probably want to get that fixed so I can like see and lift up my eyelids and of course look nicer. Uh, so I would totally go to her from wherever I was in the country to do that type of thing down the line. And I hope to do microneedling with PRP again, because I mean, it gave a very nice result. I'm very happy with it. So anyhow, if you have any questions, put them down below. And uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video and want to see um, more things like that, including, you know, makeup, skin care, hair care reviews, um, as well as these types of things, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, would love if you gave it a like. Any questions again in the comments? And uh, you should be having a couple videos pop up right now that YouTube might be suggesting if you have time to watch more videos. Um, and if you don't, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.